All right, gather around because we've got ourselves a real political circus to talk about. Picture this, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Republican firecracker, decided to drop a bombshell during a committee hearing with Attorney General Merrick Garland. Out of the Democrats, if any of them employed the daughter of Judge Merchant, that's what she asked out of the blue. Does any other member seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chair Chairman, recognizes Ms. Green. I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Uh, talk about throwing a cat among, you know, mirrors. And, you know, Jasmine Crockett, a Democrat from Texas, shot back quicker than a rattlesnake, asking Marjorie if she even knew why she was there. Please tell me what that has to do with Mary Garland. Do you do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just AG. To, uh, Marjorie never one to back down, fired off a zinger about Jasmine's fake eyelashes messing with her reading. And that, my friends, is when all hell broke loose. I don't think you know, you know what you're President. here for. Well, you the one talking about I guess. I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Order. Jasmine wasn't having any of it, making it clear she wasn't playing. Then in swoops in Minnie Mouse, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, like a hawk on a mouse, chastising Marjorie for attacking someone's appearance. Mister, I do order. have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to, to take down Miss Green's words. That is absolutely okay. unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the physical spin, appearance of another spin. person? She was so heated, uh, she even moved to strike Marjorie's words from the record. Are your Move feelings hurt? her words down. It was like watching a political reality TV show. Pure chaos and high drama. In the midst of the mayhem, Marjorie doubled down, asking... Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez if her feelings were hurt and throwing out a challenge to, deba uh, to debate uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And she responded with some something weird. Alexandria shot back with a sassy, girl, baby girl, don't play. Marjorie wasn't backing down either, retorting, baby girl, I don't think so. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? <laughs> don't even play, baby girl. Gonna, I don't think We are going to move and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second it. Meanwhile, committee leader James Comer was banging his gavel like a desperate substitute teacher trying to regain control to a rowdy classroom. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Miss Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she's apologizing. No, no, no. Perry. Perry. Okay, hold on. Then after Mr. Perry's going to be recognized, then Miss Green. I'm not has apologizing. Well, seconds. then okay, you're reserve not the right to your words. I am Mr. not Perry. apologizing. Now let's go. Come on, guys. Then, just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, Jasmine Crockett chimed in five minutes later, mind you, with a snide comment about someone's bleach, blonde, bad, built, butch body, leaving Comer to be bewildered and the whole audience to be laughing. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleached blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? He could only muster a confused, uh, what now? Uh, uh what now? Calm to down. Be, no, Can you please calm don't down. tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk calm noise, down. and then you You're can't out of control. Because if I, Look, come, Chairman, if I come and talk it was like a political WWE match and the hits just kept on coming. Marjorie eventually agreed to strike her words but refused to apologize, all while the committee descended into chaos. The wild debacle ties back to Trump's ongoing drama with gag orders for calling out perceived bias from Judge Merchant or Merchan, especially given the judge's daughter's vocal support for Democrats. Marjorie, even the firebrand and, and the super conservative champion that will completely obliterate and destroy AOC and Betty Crockett or Betty Crockhead, uh, is carrying Trump's torch, even if it means tossing decorum way out the window and the sink. Meanwhile, Republicans like Speaker Mike Johnson are trying to keep things civil and work with the Democrats when needed, showing just how fractured things are within the GOP. But one thing I would say for sure about everything that's going on, you create your time. There's never just, you know, uh, it's up for debate whether it feels the right time. The right place, I don't think so. But the right time, you know, you cannot be exercising at the gym for like 10 years. And you're like, oh, I don't want to exercise. It's been forever. No, 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 that's ridiculous. 
you create the time, you make the time, and then you go to the gym. So Marjorie created and made the time to point out the ridiculousness of all of you Democrats, of all of the Democrats. And Joe Biden is gonna get smashed and destroyed by President Trump. And Marjorie Taylor Greene and others like her are gonna continue to speak out and destroy all of these fake and lame Democrats like Betty Crockhead and Minnie Mouse AOC. How dare you? All right, be sure to hit a thumbs up and let me know if Marjorie Taylor Greene was the best WWE pay-per-view uh, entertainer there is on conservative th TV and write a comment about what you think about Minnie Mouse. And I mean, it's a fact, her eyelashes are indeed fake. If you're walking down the street and I'm wearing some fake Jordans, you're gonna be like, I don't know what time it is, but those are some fake Jordans. They're from China. And I'm gonna be like, I mean, what am I gonna say? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be like, yeah, this is, you know what I mean? So, I mean, what she said wasn't wrong. And uh, she's just butter. And Minnie Mouse, she can't even do nothing. She probably grew up on like dry ramen. And I mean, it's just insane. It's insane. So write a comment, let me know what you think.